Music tech, a term that usually refers to the use of electronic devices, computer hardware and computer software, that is used in the performance, playback, recording, composition, sound recording and reproduction, mixing, analysis and editing of music. As you all know, the invention of modern technology has taken over the music industry. Because of this, current artists are utilising new tech to produce different types of compositions. This has caused new job opportunities for musical engineers and technicians. But how do you exactly get into this industry? Throughout this video, we will be interviewing Griffith University Conservatorium student Tom McIntosh. He will be sharing about his experience into getting into university and what he feels about the course. Uh, do you think you need to like know how to play an instrument, know chords and stuff to get into music tech? Or? No, not um, definitely not to get into like the music tech degree, the con. But I think I think it helps to have some understanding of music. But I don't think you need um, to be an expert on a specific instrument. I think, and I think in a recording situation, if you understand just roughly what it's like to play an instrument and, and how like difficult it can be, it can really help. You know, you can speak their language a bit. Uh, yeah, I think what's more important is, is an understanding of. Of, um, of how to record something, I think. In your opinion, was it hard to get into uh, the music tech industry? Uh, in, in a way, like I think, um, so like the, the degree at the con, music tech, they take 30 people per year roundabouts, which is a, a small amount of people considering the kind of amount of people around. Um, so that, I think, yeah, I had to put a big portfolio together of like stuff I'd done at St. Paul's. I had a couple of performances there. Actually, pretty much it was everything I'd done at St. Paul's, like in the music tech classes and stuff. Um, in terms of getting work in the industry, um, there's a couple of different kind of spheres. Um, so you have like live sound, um, and then within that, there's also like corporate sound and like doing sound for bands and stuff like that. So for a couple of years, I worked in like corporate live sound at the convention center. And um, I was able to get that job because I was studying at the con next door. Um, and I enjoyed that. It was um, very different to like mixing bands and stuff like that. You know, it would be people uh, kind of talking at, at some obscure medical conference and like there were some dry days there. But um, I think there's plenty of work out there like if you're passionate about it and if you're good with people, I think like that's, you're 90% of the way there if you can make them happy. What university course did you choose? Just give it like a little rundown of what involves. Yeah, yeah. So the course um, is called the Bachelor of Music Technology. Um, and it has recently changed its name to a Bachelor's of Music Majoring in Creative Music Technology, but it's the same thing really. Um, so the course, um, I see it as being split up into kind of two halves. There's the um, Part which is all about uh, like studio and production work and, and you know like recording a band, mixing something in surround sound, and then there's the part which is about the more kind of like creative stuff. Uh, you make your own instrument, you could write your own program to make some new interesting sound, um, and they kind of you know balance each other out in a way because I think doing the weird stuff helps you do the normal stuff sometimes, but um, we cover a whole bunch of stuff, yeah. But it, it mostly falls into one of those two things, but I've gotten more and more interested into the um, like the actual programming side of it and like writing your own instruments and things like that. I did this um, uh, this job. Um, oops. Um, this is an instrument that I made for the course. It's kind of in pieces at the moment, missing a button, uh, but it's essentially. See a bit inside. It's a whole bunch of wires connected to this little controller thing, and it lets you play chords. Because, not being a music music theory expert myself, it's a cool, easy way to make some cool sounds. So that's like one side of it, and the other side is yeah, the whole mixing thing. So now we need to get a basic list of what is recommended to start your career. Primarily, basic knowledge you should have to go to university. Firstly, you'd want to know how to play an instrument, because knowing how to play an instrument can help you to practice recording and knowing a bit of music theory will make you more likely to be chosen than someone without much experience in that. Secondly, you may need to know some basic coding because some courses require you to use or create programs that you'll use to make music and set up for musical items. 
Thirdly, you want to have prior knowledge of setting up amps, microphones and tech gear. Lastly, you would need to find out what course would best suit you to become a musical engineer. When we interviewed Tom McIntosh, he recommended that one of the best courses around Brisbane is the one that Griffith University Conservatorium offers. But if you're not in Brisbane, look out at your local universities to find out which course would best suit you for your work.